what to do, what to do, what to do about Chase Young. Well, you know, Chase Young, he is coming up on, I believe, his fourth season here in the NFL, which means the Washington Commanders have a choice to decide upon, and that is, of course, to exercise his fifth-year option or not. As we saw with the case of Deron Payne last year, the Washington Commanders decided not to exercise Deron Payne's fifth-year option, and so it was basically a make-it-or-break-it, prove-it year for Deron Payne. What did Deron Payne do? He proved himself. And much to a lot of our surprises, the Washington Commanders actually signed him to an extension, a brand-new contract, and we have Deron Payne wrapped up for a few years. We tagged him, <clears throat> which was to be expected, and a lot of us felt he was going to play on the tag or it was possibly going to be a tag and trade, but no, we actually signed him to an extension. So are we thinking of doing the same thing with Chase Young? Chase Young, very promising rookie career, uh, rookie season, You know, played up to his potential, was a beast, you know, definitely was going to be an exciting face of the franchise after that rookie season in 2020. As a matter of fact, there was a lot of exciting things about that 2020 season. Even though it was a losing season, yet we made the playoffs. Yet we were NFC division champions. So it's kind of hard to say that it was a losing season. We had a losing record, but in all intents and purposes, I guess... It wasn't a losing season. There were a lot of good things that came out of that season. We got to see the return of uh, Alex Smith, who came back from that horrific leg injury after countless number of surgeries. And basically that leg that was nearly amputated He comes back and he plays football. I mean, just a tremendous comeback story for Alex Smith. And actually comes back and wins the football team some games and puts them in a situation to make the playoffs. So, you know, and then we get back to Chase Young in that season, his rookie season, who plays great, plays out of his mind, you know, makes makes the Pro Bowl, but of course... Or did he make the Pro Yes, I believe he made the Pro Bowl. He didn't play the Pro Bowl. Then we get to his sophomore season in the NFL. And a lot of us feel like, okay, he's he's not getting to the quarterback. He's, he's kind of a shell of himself. He's really struggling. What's going on? You know, it's just that it feels like he's, he's just not playing up to his potential. Then he gets hurt. And then he's out. Has a horrific knee injury. He's out. And he's out for much of the next season, this past season. Finally comes back. And I thought he played well when he came back. Now, if you if you look at uh, Rick Snyder's Washington YouTube uh, video on this... Uh, he would probably give you a little bit of different story on it. He he would say that, you know, he didn't really play all that particularly well when he came back. I kept in mind of the fact that normally when someone comes back from an ACL uh, injury, they are not going to be playing 100%. And even though that the team was wanting to save him until he was 100% ready to go, you're never truly 100% ready to go because... The thing is, you could be physically 100% ready, but mentally it takes time. And the only way to get out there mentally and be 110% is just to get out there and play. And to get those cobwebs out of there, to, to stop thinking about that leg, stop thinking about that knee, and just get out there and start making plays. And just the simple fact that there were not many games left in the season... And so I think it would have taken Chase Young about six or seven games to really get back into the swing of things and possibly being the Chase Young of old. And so I felt like you couldn't really judge Chase Young on what little that he was able to play at the end of last season. So that being said, 
we don't know what Chase Young that we're going to see in 2023. And I think that to say that he has been a bust is way too soon to say that. And I think that, you know, the question now is, do you pick up his fifth-year option? That is a very good question. I'm in the frame of mind right now that you probably don't. Maybe you go on the limb and you say, you know what, with Deron Payne, we didn't pick up his fifth-year option because we had options. You know, we had we went out and we drafted Fedorian Mathis. We feel like that he could be a good replacement for Deron Payne. We feel comfortable with that. We have depth at that position. Of course, Fedorian Mathis then gets injured. But with Chase Young, we had depth. We had guys we could rotate in and out. That defensive line didn't miss a beat. And that defensive line was was pretty dominant for the most part. Now, you know, on the other end, you had Montez Sweat, who seemed like it took him a little bit to really get going last season. He was he was kind of absent there in the first few games, and then when he woke up, he played really well. He really well, I felt. So, you know, when, once Montez Sweat got going, and we knew Jonathan Allen, he has, he has played at a very high level. Dron, Dron Payne played at a very high level. So, you know, you could afford the idea of being able to rotate guys in and out on the other side where Chase Young would normally play. So, I think you go out and limb. I don't think that you exer- exercise that fifth round option at all. A fifth round, that fifth year option. I think what you're going to do is you're going to say, hey, Chase, I understand that right now you have this chip on your shoulder, you're going to have to prove it. You're going to have to prove it to us. We know what your potential is. We saw it in your rookie season. But things backed off in your second year. You got hurt. You basically missed almost a year and a half. We got to, we got to see that you can be the Chase Young that you were coming in your rookie season. And I'm telling you, you're going to be rewarded handsomely if you can prove that to us in your fourth year. We are going to extend your contract, and you're you're going to be the highest paid defensive end in, in in the NFL if you can prove to us that you're worthy of that in your fourth season. I think that the Commanders will probably go that route, and I hope so because I love Chase Young, I really do. But right now, I would say, has he proven that fifth year extension? No, he hasn't proven it. So I think at this point. You roll with that. You see what happens. Roll the dice. It worked with Ron Payne. And at worst, if we do wind up losing Chase Young somewhere else, hey, I mean, we still we still proven that we have had a tremendous defensive front there. So I think we're going to be good. Folks, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please like it. Share it with others. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And that said, I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.